I'm a lucky girl. All good things come to me, move through me. I just made Wes cry. We're going to St. Lucia. Airport hall. I wanted peanut butter and mims, but that's like really unhealthy. Added sugars. Always look yeah. at the added sugars. That's how you yeah. know. Fusion pop. <laughs> Sounds rum. gross. But it's it was the healthiest thing we could find like a fashion store. I actually like this. Oh my god. Too dry. Way too dry. Another snack call. Parmesan crisp. And here's why. This is the only ingredient in this. It's Parmesan cheese. It's just straight Parmesan cheese. If you want something salty. Yeah. We got in the airport and he's like, I'm hungry, I want a snack. And I'm like, got you covered. Okay. Ice cream. Mm. See you on the flight. I'm so tired. We got in Charlotte, like 6 a.m. We came from Phoenix to Charlotte. I ah, we got in so early. Then we went to the Minute Suite. I've never really like been in one. I don't recommend. If you have like a, a layover, you're hungry or sorry and you're sleepy like I passed out that was great and now we just got chick-fil-a breakfast I got chicken minis with a cup of fruit and black coffee once again the bacon egg and cheese sandwich mm -hmm. and I haven't had one of these since like college like Wow, a whole year and a half. I was probably like a sophomore. Mmm. Delicious. It's my 10 year reunion for high school this year. Oh yeah. Wes. Wes's friends are having 10 year high school reunion in Michigan. And I'm really excited to go. Kind of crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Boop, boop. We're literally in between the two pitons. That's one of them. And that's the other one. Just got the reception. Yay! I feel like ever since I stepped foot on this island, people have been shoving alcohol on my face. And I've been the driver I literally pull over and crack over beers. Like, there you go, and I'm like, I don't even drink beer. But I feel bad because like he left him like half full. You took one sip, if even one sip. I thought he meant champagne. That's a, he said champagne too. Yeah, maybe champagne is beer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Later, I was walking in there like fruit punch, and then I drink it, and it's rum. It's delicious, but it's strong. Everyone's so nice. Everything's so cute. It's like 2 30 right now at 5 30. We have a sunset yoga, which is so good, I guess, because we just landed and we're gonna be able to like stretch. I'm collabing with this hotel, which is so fun, but like I'm also doing some modeling for them, and it's great because the modeling includes Friday yoga, and then tomorrow I'm getting a massage. Like, I'm like, yes, sign me up. And then we have a private beach dinner, which is so cool. So we're basically just getting these incredible experiences and in exchange like we're modeling. So that's cool. Yeah, I already posted. Life's good. I am definitely tipsy. This is our room. So cute. Little welcome drink. Oh yeah, that's that's what we're having. The fruit punch yeah, with the yeah. rum. It's just we're between the two pitons. So there's our little bed. Over here we have ropes. Like, normally the hotels only give you like three hangers. I know. They, they, care, they care what they're doing. And here's our bathroom. Oh yeah. So cute. Oh, I match the aesthetic. Wait, I love the natural light in this bathroom. Oh, the little rainbow. Oh, that outdoor shower. Slay. This is so... Slay! Do I make up here? <gasps> Is he still out there? Yeah. shy. He's <laughs> shy. Our He's shy. He's our butler. He's so sweet. Cool, He's man. on the phone. Everyone here is so this happy. This is our pool. Bro. bro, how can you not be happy? 
<laughs> Tell me. I if I if I lived in the sunshine and and greenery and ocean, what do you say? Sea salt. What do you say? Sea salt and sun. Yes. Yeah, sea salt and sun can be mad, you know. Look at how nice you guys. I'm so happy to be here. I feel so grateful. I also just took my hair off braids and it looks it looks it's vibing. I just feel grateful. This is like ooh, it's like really awesome. Um basically Shy just came on and explained to us like the whole property. Shy, our personal Shy, our personal butler. But we love like, him. He's so I say, nice. I, I say this like some places will say like butler, like personal butler. It's like they use that word very loosely, almost like concierge. Like no, this is like. But according butler. to him, he's like, no, I am here he's, for he's everything. Right here. He, there's a building right here that he stays. <laughs> yeah, he lives like over there. He lives right there. Basically, this is our phone that where we have to take. Everywhere we go, even if we leave the property, which is a massive property, and it's his number on <laughs> And we just get to call him and ask for help, whatever we need. 24-7. 24-7. So exciting. Um, I'm gonna unpack a little bit so like my life can be like functional. I kind of like my hair th this way, actually. Right? It's like, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I basically just washed it, put some products in, and I braided like... French one. Oh, jeez, the computer is starting off. But yeah, anyways, okay. I need like a really quick, not even makeup. I just put like some freckles on and some of like blush and bronzer. I'm supposed to be modeling for a yoga class right now, but <laughs> so like I I'm not sure. You didn't even sleep last night. You really slept on the plane. Sleep. That's okay. Sorry, right, once we go to sleep tonight, have dinner tonight, go to sleep tonight, tomorrow we'll wake up fresh, ready, ready. Yeah, I've got no other choice. I literally, I mean, to be fair, I have some, uh, I don't know. Like, what, what do I do, like, when I'm getting a massage? Tomorrow? Yeah. All you do is keep your eyes shut and relax, though, like. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, I have to yeah, work in the morning, yeah, but my work cucumbers in your eyes. That would look really nice if I could do that. It's gonna be like that sort of thing. Like they're gonna make it very nice. Like they're definitely shooting for like there you you know, their own content. So okay, I'm just putting my refi. I'm gonna put my yoga onesie on. Cute, fitted, sling. I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> They live my life. You have to stay home <laughs> while we do work. <laughs> Mama's gonna go to work, Ralph. <laughs> Anyways, um, just because it started to rain, which makes me wonder if we're even gonna have the yoga, but it started to rain a little bit, and I don't want to bring the camera. You know what I mean? You so you guys are gonna stay home, okay? I'll see you later. <sighs> just got ready for dinner. Chilled vibes today. Wearing my frogs. Fits so cute. Um. We're just gonna go down to the restaurant by the beach and have dinner there. So there's live music, so I'm excited for that. Um, yoga was chill. Called the butler here. Yeah, the butler's like, Check it oh, out. wait, sir, he got us a reservation and he's gonna take us down right now, so. It's kind of cool, like, you like a little trap phone bring around everywhere. <laughs> trap phone. <laughs> wait, are these Try taking photos on it though, but it won't let you take photos. Let's try it, bro. I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's our butler. He's here. He's Gotta here. go. Hello? Gotta go. No, I'll be right there. I'll walk around the door right now. Thank you. I got a bunch of desserts. I got rice pudding. It's a buffet night, so we just got a bunch of food. I got rice pudding. Well, I like that the first night we did like the buffet yeah. and like we're working our way up to like the fine dining restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do like the fine dining the first night. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yummy. The rice pudding? Yeah. This is a coconut turnover. It's basically a coconut croissant. Mm. It's really good too. I like that they put like a lot of like nutmeg and cinnamon in their food. Mm -hmm. You notice that? A lot. This it's like guava. Guava is my favorite fruit for dinner. After guava is plum. Mm. You know what it's in Brazil? <laughs> Goiabada. But we usually pair with like really fresh cheese. Did they, they have cheese there? Did they? 
They did. They did? Yeah. Where? Right next to that. No, I love. On the right in front. I swear. Okay. What? I'm like. Yeah. See you later. Love you. I'm dead, but it's so nice. Wow, the sky is clear. Oh, the piton be pitoning. Two phones. I'm being healthy today, so I'm just getting fruit. Some protein, some Greek yogurt, and then I'm gonna get eggs. What'd you get? <laughs> bread. <laughs> Yum. We haven't eaten bread in a long time. You guys, I found guava. Guava, I literally was telling you, it's my favorite fruit. And I found it. So I did some kiwi, guava, prunes. I love prunes. My stomach needs prunes. So yummy. I had a massage on the beach today, which was incredible for the photo shoot. Lady basically told me that I have a lot of stress on my shoulders, which I'm like, for real? I knew that. We got home, changed up, got ready. We got, we went around the property and like scouted for a spot to shoot. Found some really good ones, planned the TikTok video, but we're gonna film tomorrow morning because in the morning it is sunny, usually, not cloudy. So we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and film that video. Here we plan today. Now we're ready for the sun to come out, but you guys, I'm a lucky girl. Uh, good things come to me, move to me. I just made Wes cry because he's so proud. He's <laughs> he was the cutest thing ever. Basically, um, my manager just texted me with like a really cool opportunity, and it, it, it's a trip, and I'm just like so excited for it. And Wes got emotional because because you're proud, right? I love you. I love you. <laughs> Literally, I look at him and I'm like, are you crying? He's like, that's so cool. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you guys, lucky girl syndrome. It works. I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to try to take some photos. I just wanted to tell you guys because it's so cool that it literally just happened and I called my mom and I told my mom my mom freaked out. I'm like, mom, you know this brand? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, mom, they're taking me to blank. My mom freaked out. So, it's so exciting. We're filming a Wes Anderson vibe TikTok. This is part of it. I love that trend. It's a really cute trend. Kind of just walking around the resort. It is so beautiful here, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do a little collage right now, showing you clips of it. Because I feel like I haven't really shown during the daytime. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Got ready for dinner. I look so freaking cute, actually. I really love my outfit. This dress from Sara. It's really cute. Um, Wes looks stunning, handsome, gorgeous. He actually just got complimented on his fit. This man's like, damn. He's like, I damn. like your shirt. I like, like your shirt. You. Look at the back of it. It's cool. It has hummingbirds on it. It is really cool. There's a lot of hummingbirds here too. Look, so you have great taste. A very expensive, but great taste. I will say that. Um, now we're heading to our dinner. It was supposed to be a private, it's still private, but a private beach dinner, and it was supposed to be like. In the sand, in the all sand, dug out, it's like tiki dug out, torches. tiki torches, all the good stuff. But you know what happened? It's the raining. Weather. The weather. And you know what? I usually, we were talking about this, I usually get so mad about the rain. And uh, today, one of our shuttle drivers, he was like, we were like, oh yeah, it's raining. Wish it was sunny. He goes, yeah, but you know, the trees are smiling. He's like, the trees need their day too, you know? And I was like, wow, sir, I have never thought about this in this manner, in this light. And I love it. And now I'm, I'm, I'm somehow not mad that it's raining, you know? I'm like, okay, well, the trees are happy. They're literally like, look, look, at, look at them. Look at, the, look at the plants. They're all so green and luscious and stunning. So it's a great point of view, but point us now our private beach dinner is private pool dinner yeah and a pool <laughs> cabana which honestly 
Private dinner, private dinner. I don't care private where it is. Especially I still because I will say it. this: this place is so amazing, you guys. But like, this is luxury. Like, actually, it's probably one of the nicest places I've ever stayed at. Yeah, it's like Grand Tremezzo, honestly. It's like the Tremezzo, like in Italy. Oops. Um, but like, they but, accommodate but so well. Like, no, nothing will stop them from like, giving you a fantastic like, experience. Like, everything is exact. Like, they price everything exactly as it's worth it. But I will say it's expensive, you know. So I appreciate a private free beach dinner that we're gonna go to to model so that's exciting okay we're getting there love you see you later bye like bro look at me hello <laughs> so here is, is this the real life is this just fantasy feels like fantasy here's the thing we came to our shoot they literally sat behind us and took some photos of us for like what five minutes not even as we were talking we we're literally just like kidding around talking with them and then they left and now we're just over here with this incredible private dinner if you hear a noise it's the frogs there are frogs everywhere which makes me very happy literally woke up it's 8 a.m you guys we're like out and shooting the weather is great today we're shooting this really fun video try to show you some bts i don't know if you can see we're under the tripod. Oh, true. Let me make you super inclined. Okay. So we came to the sunset deck, which you can see that we're between the two feet down. This is crazy. This is where they do a lot of weddings. <laughs> this is so insane. I'm here. This is proof. Anywho, who has one of Ceviche? He loves Ceviche. I want to brought a salad. We're just hanging by the pitons, you guys. It's such a vibe. We just laid on that yellow thing for a minute. We're gonna go back there after we eat. Incredible. We're gonna buy a catamaran. We're gonna buy a boat. We've been saying that for like multiple vlogs. And we will. I'm telling you, one day I'm gonna be like, vlog title is gonna be like, we bought our boat. Just wait. In the meantime, eating some ceviche. Life's good. We've done so much today. We've been so productive. First time relaxing here, really. <laughs> no, we've been having a good time though. Yeah, but like, like totally like checked out relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling like I actually have fun creating content. I love creating content. Yeah, like we were excited to come here and do that. We were yeah. actually excited to actually work. Yeah. I'm excited to work. I can't believe this is my job. I love it so much. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you for making this possible. Anyways, um, yeah. One second. Mm, that's all. Sorry. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. <laughs> we skipped a day. Um, we were supposed, or sorry, yesterday I forgot about you. I just didn't vlog. Um, we were enjoying our last day at Sugar Beach, which was great. We just lay by the pool, took a lot of content, just literally just vibed out the rest of the day. But now we're on the other side of the island. The other side, we're like north in a different bay. Well, we're at Marigold Bay. And <laughs> okay, look, okay, here's what I love about this the most. We got to experience two complete opposite sides of it. Like, we did a super duper luxury resort experience. And now, we're like local in this super freaking cute Airbnb. But just look at my view. You're gonna freak out. So, wait, hold on, let me focus it. Okay, so, this is, this is just, this is, this is our view. This is our little home we come through here. And oh my god, we got here last night, like at I night night, so the, we couldn't see. This is one of the best Airbnbs we've had, I think. Honestly. Um, the one in Positano was pretty, f or sorry, in Capri yeah, was yeah, insane. Capri, Capri yeah. and this one are pretty close. Capri though. and this one's pretty close, view wise. Capri, though, you could just go straight into the beach, so that was yeah. lit. But I like the interior of this one. Yeah. Just look at this. Okay, Airbnb tour. It's literally such a grandma's cottage vibe. It's called the Ginger Cottage on Airbnb. Um, I'll link it, but so this is a you walk in there's like this little hangout spot there are suitcases everywhere Obviously, there's this little I want to take a pic here later today 
Like, this is so cute. This is like a little dining area, I assume. And then back here, there is just another balcony that you can like lay out on or whatnot. Let me show you the view from here. Just, oh my God, crazy, you guys. Crazy, there's flowers everywhere. This morning I was having coffee and the birds came and hung out with me. And here's our little bedroom. No which, AC. No, no AC. No Wi-Fi. Just vibes. Just vibes. Just vibes. <laughs> so this is our little bedroom, which I freaking love. It's so cute. That's what I'm saying. It feels so lived in, which is why I love it. And then you go up here. This is my getting ready mess. Then we have a little kitchen, which is also so cute. And then the bathroom, which is so cute. Like... It just gives off such granny vibes and I am obsessed, like Caribbean granny. And this is the street that we go down to the bay. Which, you guys, this is out of a movie. It's so freaking cute, it's like not even real. Like, like why is it a door go going to it? Goes through nothing. There's nothing on the other side, I guarantee there's nothing on the other side. I love it, I freaking love it here. So we came to the shops and cashries and we're finding a bunch of beads because you know, we got crafty and we made a, a top. So now we're trying to make some more and we're finding such beautiful beads here. I also got a little bag. Got some cute scarves that I see potentials to do things with. This one's cool. Wes's vibe. Vibes. Ah. Uh -huh. So pretty. Come here. Can I like? <laughs> We're gonna die for a photo. Hold on. This morning. We saw birds this morning. You guys, it's our anniversary. One year married officially, legally. Legally. Even, even though our Tulum wedding isn't until what? In, it's in 14 week. days. Two weeks. In two, two weeks. weeks. Exactly two weeks. So today is our anniversary part one and we're in St. Lucia and in two weeks we're going to be somewhere else. Which is cool. In but Mexico. that was the goal. And then two days after our wedding anniversary in Tulum, it's Ross's birthday. So it's just like every year. We did it on purpose. Because I wanted to be like every year like our celebration like less like two weeks. weeks yeah like i don't want minimum it. two weeks <laughs> exactly what a luxury but yeah <laughs> so today we kind of just i don't even oh, look a dragonfly i don't even know if i vlogged last night did i vlog last night i don't know if i vlogged last night but we just went across the bay for dinner we took some really hot pics you guys they're so sick went across the bay for dinner like all the way over there you see this we went there for dinner last night. I like St. Lucia, but... Go on. Don't be shy. The people really hassle you. The local people try to sell you stuff. Yeah, people were trying... Wes went downstairs by himself yesterday because I told him to. Because he forgot to pay... The oh, God, I didn't vlog yesterday, huh? We went paddle... No. Kayaking. Kayaking in the ocean over there. And then... But we didn't have cash, so like... We came back home, Wes grabbed the cash to take to the guy downstairs and <laughs> said as he went, everyone was trying to sell him drugs. No, it's like, it's all like, kind it's, of drugs. it's annoying. It's like, like, you know, you say no to one guy and like, you know, they're all selling the same thing. You tell the first guy no and the second guy, as soon as you break communication with the first guy, the second guy starts to approach you and you tell him no and then as soon as you break communication with that guy, it's like the third guy, it's like, it's like initiation of like, are they, they break communication, all right, you start your... Like, you know, you they all get a cut. Yeah, and so no, they're uh, all just like. Regardless, we did, we did not buy it. <laughs> Probably wouldn't even be good here, honestly. Don't trust it, guys. Don't buy, I swear to God. I don't even care if you do your, your stuff, but don't buy stuff abroad. Like, you never know what they're mixing with. People are dying from this shit these days. So. Fly your own, take a risk. <laughs> um, but now, yeah, we went kayaking, dinner. This morning we hung out with birds and now and now we're back at Doolittle's to sit in the sun lounge, get some lunch and some drinks. Drinking alcohol today because it's our anniversary. It's a celebration. Cheers! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary. <laughs> Ready, soldier. 
go on a hike, just kayak to Paris Beach. <laughs> You want to go on a hike, but you want to take the lift up? Yep. We're on a lift. It's going fast. I mean, it's pretty smooth, I'll say that though. You mean? Carol Gold Bay. St. Lucia. Man, St. Lucia. Shabuya. This is actually pretty cool here. We realized though, it's best not to buy a place in like a destination. Yeah, because we want to go buy a place everywhere we go. That's kind of. Not convenient. Yeah, if you want to buy a place <laughs> everywhere you want to go, it's not that good. So just it's better to just buy a boat and then go wherever you want, whenever you want, for however long you want, and you don't have to pay to be there. Exactly. You can just avoid flight costs. Yeah. You can be in the water. Always have a tan. You just don't really have a shipping address. Eat but. clean fish. Yeah, just fish your ceviche. fish your food. Oh. Ceviche 24 7, 365. I wonder, like, how like doable that is, though. Like, food wise? I mean, and come short ceviche station. has like a lot of different things in it. You yeah, can I know, make but it diverse. But where do you get the tomatoes? I mean, obviously, you have to go to like, markets and buy that, like, you know, stops in between, like peppers and stuff like that. Yeah. Limes. Make some rice, too. Yeah. It has ovens, right? And. and some will have in small boats? ovens, yeah. Small. Yeah, because like, how do you... Small You can't make tops. a fire in a boat. No, they have like small, small stove tops. They have like, like outboard grills, like grills in the back. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. I see, I see, I see. Cool. Bay's up, baying. Going up to a hike to the very top of this like mountain here. So you can see the mm -hmm. whole bay, I guess. Whatever that means. We're doing it just for you. What's your impression so far? A lot of huh? Oh, wow, wow, it's no joke, huh? We're on top, top the mountain. Let's go, Billy Goat, Billy Goat Trail in Marigold Bay, St. Booch. Everything to the eye see, the sun touches Simba, belongs to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down. This is the view every day. There it goes. Down there, that's George playing the, the conch shell. <laughs> happy hour, happy hour. Buy one, get one. It's a little Airbnb over there. Oh, it's okay. We got one. It's just like selfie. Just for the blog. The selfie aesthetic. Yeah, just the selfie aesthetic. <laughs> this is the end of the vlog. This is the end of the vlog. Next time we vlog, we we'll either in Florida or Mexico. Yeah. Probably Mexico? Okay. Florida, or maybe Mexico. Probably, probably, probably Mexico. Next time we vlog, Mexico. Love you guys. Okay, that's fun, man.